Welcome back to another uh, another video. Today's video slash a little bit more discussion video that I have for Fortnite Battle Royale. Now I am playing on Save the World right now because uh, I don't know like how to like pre-record a video and just uh, talk over it. So uh, bear with me. Um, so if the music kind of is loud, I'm gonna turn off the music right now, and then uh, you guys. Uh, Go to have a little bit of a discussion video with it, to what I want for the future of Fortnite and what could possibly have for the next, you know, um, the next thing. So, uh, let's start with the first thing. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's let's talk about the uh, the uh, uh, the amusement park I have. So you guys remember how we have this roller coaster kind of going around, up, down, on the side, left, the baller roller coaster and such forth, right? Um, I was thinking like if they had more, a more variety of introducing more amusement park to the game, I would definitely um, consider it to add. Uh, let's just turn off the music right now. Sorry. When you find an active encampment, be ready to fight Hold on. until the end. I'll turn it back on a little bit later. Have... Uh, but yeah, I just want to say, what type of music? I mean, what type of music perk would you like to add to the Fortnite? Like, for me, I would like to add like a fun, like a, a little circus or something like that. It would be kind of cool. Maybe have like areas with a lot of loot, where basically they have like um different areas like for instance like maybe like for like characters like um special bosses that would drop like special loot sometimes like uh for example if uh you know the clown characters from the chapter two from chapter one season six where we had those clown characters uh maybe like maybe have those as uh npcs uh uh for next season have them on the map and then do a and then they'll have something like that like have a music part. I also thought maybe adding a, a, a miracle round or maybe a, a ferris wheel to it just makes it a little bit more uh, live, livelier, livelier <laughs> I can't say uh, in the actual uh, game itself so um, what else, like, uh, different, like, special events that would also be really cool. Maybe, like, a, uh, a mini-game event in the, uh, in the amusement park would be kind of cool to see. I know we have, uh, what's called the, 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 uh, what's called, um, the, you know, the party royale, right? Um. I was thinking like adding other things to Party Royale too, but I was thinking like adding more to Battle Royale because everyone plays that game. So, you know, just think about like adding little food stalls to the game. Maybe like things like oh I don't know like uh, like a burger like a burger joint or something like that. You know, or like maybe maybe like have uh, maybe like adding snow cones to the amusement park. You know, things like that. That would be kind of cool to see in uh, the uh, chapter for the uh, for the for the map for future map updates or future map changes would be kind of cool to see uh, updates to the to the thing. Uh, I was also thinking of maybe having a fun house, like a fun house in there for the uh, where we had the rave cave. Maybe have a fun fun house where the rave cave, had, you know. For, uh, because they have a lot of stuff like uh, dance, like music places, right? They have dance saying do do do, you know, things like that. But I was thinking like maybe add some, like, like amusement, like like stuff like you would see in amusement parks and things like that, you know. Because because I mean I have like just imagine like what if we had those kind of things in uh, Fortnite itself? We had a and then uh, maybe next season we might have an a bit like uh, like an abandoned 
amusement park where we get to see like different characters like the I think like the the cuddle team leader uh for the Halloween cuddle team leader where he's all where she's all like you know the zombie one also would be kind of cool to see in the uh maybe like in the future map changes up for future map for future map uh, for Halloween, maybe change the giant bear into this kind of creepy zombie, kind of like the zombie cuddle team leader would be kind of cool uh, to see there. And, uh, yeah. Uh, another thing is to also see what else would I like to see. And uh, I try to think there's a lot of things that we could possibly uh, add but those are a couple things I would like to see also. Now, as for other things, I'm going to talk about this more recent, uh, more recent for the uh, Fortnite Summer skin set will be coming this, this, this year. Uh, would be one, uh, we're going to start with the first one is, of course, Charlotte. If you guys looked at, if you guys recently looked at the survey, I am talking about it right now. If you have looked at it, or have seen it, uh, you remember how there was a, a summer version of Charlotte, and I think there was like two other versions, uh, two, uh, two, uh, one, two season eight uh, skins from chapter two, from chapter two season eight, and of course two uh, non, uh, one non uh, summer like one one more like. You know, you'd see like a normal summer skin that Epic made. So yeah, it was from the summer skins. I also saw a really a couple of cool Halloween skin. One Halloween skin that could possibly potentially be for a battle pass skin. Who knows? But I think it might be cool to see it. Uh, but we're gonna start. We're gonna go back. So the two summer skins we have Charlotte, we have Corin, and then of course another one. That looks like kind of like a version of Charlotte, but it's more like a, she has like a black hat and she has tattoos all around herself. I was thinking maybe like I was I was also thinking maybe add a white cell to her to just make it more like uh, to make her look a bit more cooler. Also, and for Charlotte, maybe add all the other colors like a green style to it and to make the green shadow, and then of course the uh, other things. Now, I do have a lot of questions also. For some reason, a lot of skin concepts for some people. Uh, I notice, well, in most skin concepts also, I notice like, they, uh, like some skin concepts, a lot of people put like nets on themselves for some reason. I don't know why, but for some odd reason, I guess it's like a style for girls, but I kind of find it, I think that it's kind of find it a little bit kind of weird, just saying, I mean, I'm not really like uh, a person to talk, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, now, next thing is about the Fortnite storyline. Now, I do have some information about that. So we got. So if you guys watch the uh, storyline or slash trailer for, or seen the the last season's uh, Fortnite storyline, the the huge uh geno thing that's possibly coming to the i'm possibly thinking that geno will be coming in probably in chapter two season i think it's like season four yeah season four uh, but yeah i think season four will probably be where we get the, all the cool halloween skins also so that's another book for that um but yeah uh, so uh, we could possibly see Geno in that season specifically. Who knows? But another thing to talk about is the Moon Goddess. Now I want to talk about the Moon Goddess for a while, uh, for a long time, because I want to talk about it. Just because uh, I feel like this Moon Goddess person, if you saw in leaked surveys, or have seen her before, right? Uh, I believe that she's the actual god herself, like the actual god. Of reality zero, or yeah, the 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 reality zero, uh, and then of course we have the uh, well, supposedly I'm not sure if this is technically some people. So if you saw this uh, 
skin in the post trailer scene. Uh, she, a lot of people thought that she's the one who's been controlling it and like making so she, so everyone can distract everyone from the what's really happening, right? And a lot of people think that she might be the antagonist. I'm not sure if she is the antagonist. Uh, I think we need to take a break from antagonist people. I mean, we had like Q, we had the Q Queen, then we had the Doctor Slow, and now we just like. Uh, I don't know, like a supervillain kind of seems a little bit kind of like, oh my god, another supervillain, come on. We gotta have at least one, like, god, like, you know, just one that's not a supervillain, so, yeah. Uh, but, let's talk about the moon goddess, let's get back to the moon goddess. Uh, so the moon goddess, what I think is that she's gonna play a huge role in next, in an upcoming, in an upcoming season. And the reason why she, I feel like she's going to play a huge role in that is because of the fact that she's like, she has this kind of like, like almost like a skin, like her skin looks so like her, I mean her character looks so like, lo, like a god, like a, you know how the, we saw uh, the cube queen, I mean, the, right, the cube queen, the ruler, the, uh, the cubes and such forth, right, we saw that, um, yeah, um, we saw, we thought that she definitely looks like a, one of those characters, like those evil characters, right? And she's not like a basic character. She's not really super basic. She's more like a super villain uh, kind of person. And of course, it would make sense. I mean, and she has like this weird face paint, you know, kind of like cube-like. So yeah. Um, but uh, the origin, another character, kind of the cube king. Even though that we don't see him as a uh, like his like the, his other style, but we do see him as a uh, potentially the uh, the origin. Um, so this the moon goddess might actually we're not sure if she's going to play a huge role, but I am going to say she probably will play a huge role just because of the fact that I don't know she just seems like a very like. Like, I don't know, she seems like a very well-developed character, and I wonder, like, it wasn't on survey, right? Normally, a lot of skins, when survey skins come out, normally they would just, like, say, oh, it's just a normal skin, right? But she just looks so, I don't know, she just looks like a goddess to me, like, the one of those, like, you'd see in, like, anime shows, you know? Or, like, in those, like, um, um, what's that show called again? Uh... Let's see, uh, like, uh, like I got it, like, from, uh, like, 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 you know, from other shows, you know, I'm just giving an example, like, the Rise of Shield Hero, for example, but I'm just giving an example, I mean, um, so, basically, what I'm trying to say is that I feel, I believe that the Moon Gods might actually be playing, gonna be, pl gonna be a huge character, in the near future, because of her, the fact is, if you look at her skin, she has kind of some kind of like flower on herself. I'm not sure. Um, maybe they might give her a secondary style. Who knows? But we'll see. Uh, now, as for I did talk about one Halloween potentially being a future battle pass skin, or potentially not. Who knows? So there was a, a girl, like, sort of like a rat girl kind of person, a rat girl, right? Or like a mouse, I don't know what, I guess like a rat, mouse, kind of, it looks like she can uh, be able to transform between two different characters, and, I mean, she transforms into a rat, like, a, she's a, she's like a girl, but she transforms into a rat, and she goes back into a human, so basically, maybe a future battle pass skin in the near future for Halloween, who knows? And then we also saw some other Halloween skins also. Potentially Battle Pass skin, potentially not. We'll see. I also saw one emo kid, uh, a couple of emo kids that were like really creepy old, really creepy kids, but you know, the ones that look like kind of like, uh, you don't want to talk to, but they're kind of cool in, in their own right. They're not like goth-like characters, they're more like, like a mix between goth and non-goth characters we i also saw one anime character also in there so yeah and of course uh so 
We know for sure that next season will be something to do with Halloween and something to do with general. It's not going to be superhero themed. We already had two superhero themes, and I don't think uh, we need another one. <laughs> it just wouldn't make sense. Like, having another superhero theme, it would just, like, feel like... So, uh, does this mean the end of the Fortnite storyline? No, I think there's going to be more to it. Um, I think there's going to probably be at least a couple more plots to the story itself. Who knows? But I'm hoping that maybe we'll get close to the end of the reality zero. Who knows? But I think if we wanted to keep it as what it is, maybe at the towards the end we'll get and then we'll be like sent back to the time and then we'll have to start over again, something like that. Then you know to turn that. But you know something like that. We're hoping that maybe we need some change. I mean, we had, we had like the IO for a long, long time since chapter one, like almost like since chapter one began and it was like so long ago and it's just like, oh my God, we need something new. We need, uh, we need like, uh, we need something like crazy. So we need, uh, to make the characters have more, we need a new super villain to the future. Maybe a new storyline, you know, just like saying like, would be kind of cool to see. Um, so, yeah, um, what kind of storyline would you guys like to see? Uh, personally, I would like to see some like some interesting characters that are unique. Um, but I think Fortnite has been so well developed in this, like the zero point itself. So, yeah. Who knows? And then, of course, uh, the reality tree. Also, another thing to mention is that the Lush Reality Falls slash the Lush Falls, right, will start spreading across the island. Not the roots itself, but the actual biome itself. So keep that in mind. The biome will spread. And uh, it's kind of like the snow biome where it kind of like spread all across the island. But it's not going to melt. It's not going to be like... Um, it's not going to melt, so that's another thing. Um, so, we'll see. I, I kind of like the, the Reality Falls slash Lush Biomes, because it makes it more unique, and it makes it kind of like, you know, different than other things, than different from other games, and, you know, who knows? Uh, another thing we're, now, we're also expecting that Creative 2.0 will be coming, coming soon. Uh, we don't still don't know when uh, it still hasn't been confirmed yet, but we'll see uh, this year, but you know uh, Thing to take note is about the next the next uh, uh, What's the next biggest thing for Fortnite? I don't know. What's the next the biggest thing? I mean they have zero builds they have they have what's it called they have zero builds they have creative and they also have saved the world, right? But the two biggest ones are Battle Royale and Creative right now. Um, so, the next biggest thing would probably be introduce a new type of game mode. Between, kind of like between Save the World and Battle Royale, you still kind of like have this kind of, you know, Battle Royale, but you also have this kind of like non-competitive uh, side to it. So, you know, something like between those two games, but more like, you know, have the map a lot larger and such forth. So, yeah, the thing, the thing we talked about, number one, we talked about, you know, things that I would like to see in like create, like in not creative, things that I would like to see in like, you know, around the roller coaster, maybe make it into an amusement park or we kind of cool, maybe have uh, a Ferris wheel. I don't know how it would operate, but we'll see if Epic may come up with something. We also talked about the, uh, we talked about future skins and future, you know, storyline related. Uh, what else? We also talked about, uh, at the chapter two, chapter three, sorry, chapter three, season four, um, season before possibly being Halloween theme and then finally 
Uh, well, finally, what else? Uh, I guess that's it. I mean, we talked about three things, three items. Uh, so, you know, and we also talked about how the reality tree slash uh, lush falls will start spreading its biome, uh, spreading across the island. Also, another thing, the, the tree itself will start like spreading its roots. Also, changing the map entirely, maybe turning into a new map. Who knows what it's going to look like at the end. But, and then of course, the update will happen on, well, of course, you have until in a couple of weeks or such, where today's June 8th, and not next week, but the week after next week, right? We're supposed to get week three, and there's supposed to be voiceovers uh, in week two. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but we'll see. Um, I'm just checking my calendar when it's going to be. I think it was the 23rd of June. Um, yeah, the 23rd of June. Uh, will be the uh, next update. Uh, not next week, but the week after it will be on the 23rd. And then we'll get our first update. And then, of course, uh, that will be when Epic will go on their break. When they go out, when they come back, they're probably going to come back in some time around, like, like um, I would say, like, June, July 13th or 14th or the 20th. Who knows? Like, on when, maybe on Thursday or Wednesday or Friday. Um, but, like, between, like, I think the, both, the first week of July would be there, that Epi would probably take their break. So, uh, that's always, I think that was always the uh, case, because they'll be going on break, and then, and then they come back on the next, uh, next week, and then right after that week, you know, the, so they come back, like, so I imagine they go on their break on the first week, right? And then they come back on the second week, and then they have another up, and then they have an update on next week. So it kind of bounces out, also. So they get, so they go on their vacation, they spend some time, and they get back to the office around that around there, and they spend a little bit of time getting ready to for the next update for next week, and then uh, that's it. And then they come back on uh, the, and then they uh, back on on the full. Um, you know, side of the update, and I'll be the twenty, the twenty, the the twenty, the twenty, the twenty, the twenty one point twenty update. So the V two update, and then of course, that will be around July, and then we got August, and then we got September, and then of course another thing to take note: September, September seventeenth. I dropped my phone. September 17th will be the final. Oh my freaking. September 17th, right? September 17th will be the final, final update on. So it's a little bit shorter season this season. Uh, so I'm, that's why it's. So you better, you guys better, like, I mean, if you, you gotta grind all your tears out just because this is a little bit shorter season. Uh, in the past season, past season it was a, it was a lot longer, but this season is a little bit shorter. So, just making sure, you know, it's a because Epic is going on break, and then it's going to be like, oh, you gotta, and there's supposed to be five major patch notes. Now, this could subject to change, uh, for the the update. I mean, the subject to change because there are five major patch notes. For this for this season so keep that in mind uh, I, so yeah I hope you guys who enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe if new and I will catch you all later goodbye